All right, there's um, Coops again, Coops Get Corner, and Kick Press Reviews. Um, in this video, I'm going to go through um, around what's in my webbing and what my webbing is. Um, I apologise for the shaky camera. I've just done about a thousand press ups and I'm um, holding it in my hand. So, shaky camera, you know, it's all about the content. Right, okay, no further delay. Let's go through my belt kit, well, one of my sets of belt kit, and what I carry in it. Um, you'll probably find that a lot of this is kind of generic. Um, across the board, um, ran about the same thing as carry, but it's slightly different from everybody else, but this is what I carry, okay, so I'm going to go through my belt kit now, so two seconds, okay, so this is my belt kit, alright, let's go a bit further down, basically we've got a Boris yoke, not wrong, UK tactical yoke, UK tactical, double ammo pouches, um, the lids are a prototype, that's why these are a bit different. Okay, but I'll do a review on the pouches very soon. Very nice pouches. Next, we've got our Boris um, dump pouch. Okay, two UK tactical, two UK tactical medium zip top um, utility pouches. I've had them for donkey's years, still came really strong. Um, I think that's not Ops Core. Ops cool, spec ops gear, um, med pouch, okay. Um, I like it because the red bit there, a bit of a kit tart, med pouch, no, it's just a med pouch. Um, again, a 3 mag UK tactical, um, and a pouch, this time with a box lid. Um, again, this is another prototype box lid on this. And going back here, we have a Millspick Monkey, Millspick Monkey tactical tailor. I don't know if you can see that in there. Rooster Bit Monkey Tactical Tailor um, Stealth Admin Pouch. And then I think I've got this from G1098 years ago. Um, pistol Pouch. But anyway, that's my webbing. I'm not forgetting the Boris belt. Okay, a Boris belt um, with a cable buckle. So, first set of pouches here. In my own pouches, I carry four magazines. Okay. The reason why I carry four magazines and not six is because I'm not that um, kinetic anymore. Um, my job has moved back a little bit from the um, front line. Um, still, still kind of up there, but I don't have the need to carry, you know, all the ammunition. So six mags. So that's four magazines. Okay, what I've done with these, I've got the old mag pulls and I've cut the tops off them just for a better grip. Kit of Pessy doesn't have to be done, but that's what they are there. Next move on to dump pouch, it's a dump pouch, okay, it's big enough to fit a small child in, it's huge, it's bespoke, it's a lovely bit of kit, again from Boris. Next in this pouch here, it's starting to go a little bit actually, um, I carry a big old negate or a one litre wide mouth bottle. The reason why I like wide mouth bottles is you can put what you want in them, just about. All right? um, and you can wash them out clean. Okay, the issue water bottles are bomb proof and are good. And also they CPR and fit on the top, but this one hasn't. Um, is if you put anything else, put else apart from water in them, they just taste foul and end up getting horrible. Okay, with this one I can clean it out with some Milton um, st or some Steri tabs out of your. Um, backpack. Okay, and I can see how much water I've got in there. Along with that, a metal mug. Those metal mugs go out of stain, okay. Um, they're durable, you can cook on them, and a metal mug. Next, it's just in the back of my web in there, is a speed loader. Go to that saying, the speed loader. Now we're working to this pouch here. Again, pretty tack, medium utility pouch. Here, I carry my emergency rations and my rifle cleaning kit. Now, when I say emergency rations, what I'm talking about is emergency rations. So, what I carry for that, right, this is probably out of date, but still, it's a cinnamon bun. Okay, I like puddings because I know there's plenty of sugar in them, I can eat them cold, and I like them. Okay, in there also, I have some dextrose tablets, just to keep it going. Some brews, plenty of brews, right, hot chocolate, okay. 
some Spanish toothpaste, I've got a Spanish rat pack. Right, that's all in this, um, I think it's triangular, mini mess tin. Okay. Also in there I carry this foldable hexi cooker, alright? It's really easy, easy to explain, folds up, hexi cooker. And obviously two small hexi tablets, alright? That's my emergency rations. The belief being, um, I'm not carrying a full 24 hour ration pack. That's all I need to get me through for, you know, till the next day basically, one meal. If I miss one meal or two meals, the size of me, I'm not going to go hungry for about a week. Moving on to my rifle cleaning kit. Um, in here, a very basic one, right? It's just what I need to keep the weapon clean and workable, okay, during operations and patrolling. Okay, I don't need to carry a full weapon cleaning kit. I'm not going to strip the weapon down completely unless I really have to to give it a full clean. I can give it a quick battle clean when I get back to camp or the fob, but then I can really go to gear on it and get everything I need out of it. But this does me most of the time. Okay, from Kit Monster I bought it years ago, a little drop pellet bottle, a pellet bottle or a bottle, just one drop at a time. But now the issue spray pump bottles, so I kind of like that better. Combi tool, alright, I must have. A breach tool, like I said in one of my other videos, um, any recruits out there, okay, want something there for their parents or their grandparents or their mates to buy them, buy a breach tool, alright, be handy, alright. It doesn't replace this at all, right? But this does a few little bits. Okay, well that doesn't do. Alright? It makes life a little bit easier. I carry some cleaning rods, okay? Oh, get out of the way. Toothpick, right? Jury's out in toothpicks, but I generally can go into little tiny cracks and nooks and crannies in the F80, okay, with a toothpick. As long as you're not too. Right, rough and red and gouge everything out, you're not going to cover any little scratches or scratch off the Teflon. So, have a toothpick, we're going to use it, use it carefully, alright, don't scratch everything up. Okay, wire brush, okay, a couple of wire brushes, one for the bore, alright, and one for other bits, a bit bigger one, okay, that's for the gas block. Pull through, this one's for LMG pull through, this you pull through just, just as well, okay, and Last but not least, well, a three mil Allen key. All right. If you've got um, LDSs on your SAEs, on your rifles, there's a length of Picatinny rail, so it's attached to this. All right. Attached to your rifle. That's got three mil Allen keys on it. All right. They tend to sometimes rattle loose with lots of firing, so I find that quite hard, handy, especially on range days. Okay. Then moving on, my med pouch. Now, I'm a big believer in not using stuff that you're not trying to use, all right? So you could go out with a massive med pouch with loads of stuff, quick clot, um, tourniquets, loads of drugs, IV drips, whatever. You can, you can make it massive, splints, everything, all right? But in my case, the Battlefield Jewels book, all right, teaches me how to use, okay, cat tourniquet and the FFD, all right? That's what I'm going to use. Aid memoir, alright, pair of tough cut scissors and a buzz saw. Alright, it's a proper silent buzz saw, but you could probably get away with a um, silent on a bit of string, alright, and that's for calling in choppers or it's a it's a beacon, basically you break it open, you spin it around your head, alright, and it makes a like a buzz saw pattern, alright? And that's for calling in murder teams and stuff, emergencies. Moving on in this pouch here. Oh, sorry, that was the Spec Ops. Yep, Spec Ops small med pouch or med pouch there, I forgot what it is. This pouch here, a 3ml ammo pouch, a 3 mag ammo pouch, sorry. That is to carry my flask, okay. Um, I've done a, on Kit Pest reviews, I did a little review on Fight Light, I looked my ideas on Fight Light. Doesn't really quite fit in with Fight Light, but, okay, it's probably the most used thing in my belt kit, is my flask. Alright, pick up, another tip for cleaning on these, well, once you've used them, wash them out, put in one Puri tab or some Milton, you know, the baby um, sanitising stuff, okay, in there, leave it for 24 hours, wash it out, rinse it out, put it back in your thing, and it should be keep nice and clean. Moving on to my admin pouch, alright, my job's in RSDC, so I do a lot of writing and stuff, and, you know, need stuff like that. 
need stuff like that, writing in crib cars and calling in this and calling in that, working on the radios. So I've been out and about, it's where my pens and stuff go. So in the front there, lots of pens, right? Not lots of pens, but some pens, right? Nice little pouch, this. In there as well, a torch, you notice the torch is attached so I don't drop a torch, right? That's a Gerber Recon torch, right? It's a really nice little bit of kit actually. Um, next, my GPS. As you can see, this is a really old one. I'm, this doesn't replace a map and compass, not by any means, right? This, all, all I use, ever use this for is just so I can quickly get a grid reference. If I know where I am, okay, I can't be lost. So that's all I use that for. Cam cream, Camtech cam cream, it's the nuts, all right? Don't get this issue stuff, get some of this. All right, available at Kit Monster and other good places as well. Just look out for Camtech. Um, slate cards, okay, don't know what they are. You're not going to use them. Don't worry about them. Make, all make your own up. A protractor, okay, that's um, a square one. On the back of the... Um, what book is it? Soldier's Pocket Book they sell these. Okay, and I find that really good, especially the Romers. Okay, find out grid squares and stuff like that. Quite a handy bit of kit. Right in the rain notebook, this is an old one. See, well used. <coughs> and in there it's got, you know, like your slate cards in the back of there. I don't think they're available anymore, but I like this one. I've had it for donkeys. That's pretty much all I carry in there. Obviously in there I can put in a few more stuff if I need a few more bits of paperwork and stuff. That, last but not least, a multi-tool. This one's Gerber, I bought it on tour, donkeys years ago, it's worse for wear, but it's a broken off it, but it's still going strong. That's a good bit of kit. So, that's basically my belt kit. Um, back up here. So yeah, that's it, that's what I carry. Um, that is actually my, one of my bigger sets, I've got um, a smaller set that I use for a bit more fight light kind of thing, but that will do, and it's pretty, pretty generic. Um, so I've got ammunition, water, emergency rations, and a bit of admin in there, okay? If you don't need admin pouch, you probably don't need to to your commander, that pouch, another couple of ammo pouches, and in there you could carry grenades and more ammunition. That is it, guys. Um, hope you enjoy the video, and um, check out Kit Pest Reviews, okay, Cooper's Kit Corner on Facebook. I'll link them in, to, in the bottom, okay? Cheers, bye-bye.